cool knife. Benchmade 915 Triage. Seen for the first time in the Nut and Fancy Project, T and P for short, of course, at my 2011 booth review with the good folks at Benchmade. Good times. Always love dropping by Benchmade at SHOT Show, seeing what's up, checking out their latest designs, just like this one. When the Benchmade guy threw that on the counter, you saw it on camera, I was stoked. Immediately I knew it was going to be a win, both for Benchmade and for us Benchmade fans. It combines so many elements which I think are functional. You guys know that I'm all about function. Well, not all about function, but mostly about function. Having reviewed blades uh, in detail over the last three years, hundreds of blades, um, I can kind of put my finger on what will work and what will not work in the market too. According to, I don't know, the likes of at least my audience here in the Nut Fancy Project, having conversed with thousands of guys and gals over blades, um, I kind of have a feeling of what's going to be successful. This is a knife that's going to be very successful. For all the elements I'm going to cover in my detailed Nut & Fancy style tabletop review, the 915 Triage is destined to become a Hall of Fame blade here in the Nut & Fancy project. By the way, that's reserved for only the best blades. Ones that get design right, I'm talking first kind of cool, and, uh, and that's also a function, and then also that are just cool, second kind of cool. Guys who have been following the project know exactly what I'm talking about. If you just found this review via Google, you're probably completely confused by now. It's probably going to get worse as the video progresses. Let's jump into it. So much to talk about with this knife. Really. Philosophy of use. Again, I use philosophy of use because it means we have put some logic and thought behind how we intend to employ the device in our systems. The 915 Triage is a combination of two of my favorite things from Benchmade. This isn't a surprise to Benchmade fans. How about the Griptilian? Love that knife. Previously reviewed, highly recommended. I know I always say that in the Nut and Fancy project. I, I'll tell you what, I don't say it if it's not true. And the 550 is one of my all time faves in all around, I don't know, mid size, mid weight tactical blades. Maybe EDC blades, depending on your point of view. Just like I said in that video. Reviewed a long time ago. Love the knife. Love the sheet's foot blade. The belly. The sharpness. The speed at which it comes out. We'll get to those things. Okay, so we have this element. And then we have something I carry in my professional life and have for years. The Benchmade Rescue Hook. I think this is a Rescue 5. Also reviewed and recommended by me here in TMP a long time ago. This is my professionally carried Rescue 5 hook. 2.2 ounces. It's just fabulous. Haven't used that word for a while. Why is it fabulous? Because it works. This thing will zip open leather, heavy duty fabrics, cordage of all kinds. A Rescue hook is just amazing. So you take this Griptilian, you take this awesome Rescue hook, you wave your magic wand, wand, and voila, you have a 915 triage. Told you about the function, because that's what this knife is. It is a combination, uh, I won't say griptilian, but it has that style of blade used in a lot of other Benchmade models. What do we have on the counter? 950 Rift. That style of blade, the sweeping sheep's foot blade, which I love combined with rescue cutting functions. We'll show you that here in a second. Philosophy of use for the 915 triage. I said it at the booth review. It is a sheepdog's knife. Remember, our sheepdogs are our police officers, our paramedics. Those are also sheepdogs. Firemen, public service personnel, military personnel, sheepdogs, and also responsible civilians. I've gotten some real, I've not gotten, I've received some really cool stories from our civilian audience members here in TMP talking about how they themselves have rescued people, saved their lives. A tool like this could help that. Okay, rescue cutting, doing all kinds of uh, other functions, maybe glass breaking we'll talk about here in a second. 
It is a sheepdog blade. I don't like to overuse that word too much, but um, it's appropriate for the 915 triage. It can be just an everyday carry blade too. I think the blade's a little bit on the big side, just like I've said on a lot of other reviews for EDC use. But it's doable, and having carried it, for, like I said, for the last while, it works just great. Tactical blade. Emergency defensive blade. Yes. Mm-hmm. Remember, I don't say that these days unless there's a traction plan, which is meaningful. And I will tell you the 915 as we go down the TPs has a meaningful traction plan that locks the hand in. It's workable. Um, collectible. Uh, I can't speak. Collectible. You bet. It's a cool blade. This is second kind of cool. In other words, what just turns us on when we talk about knives, sometimes guns. 915 is there, baby. It's awesome. That's philosophy of use. Oh, one more. Water knife. Yep. Since it incorporates a very rust-resistant steel, for its main blade at least, it could be an adequate water knife. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable submerging it all the time or for that matter, running it in salt water a lot. Because it's not all rust resistant, i.e. 440C rescue cutter on the backside. As far as I know, that's not a great salt blade. But in freshwater use, canoe blade, kayaking, yeah dude, I think it'd work. Size, you can see it. Medium size, not huge, just about right. The weight, 5.2 ounces on the 915 triage. That's not super light. And nothing fancy, we know you like the lightweight blades. And you're, you're absolutely right. I do. I get stoked when I see lightweight stuff. But if you were to take the weight of the 550 HG, which is this model. This has the hole in the blade, not the thumb stud. And then the 2.2 ounce with sheath, Rescue 5. I think I'm getting that right. It's going to be honestly about the same weight. About 6 ounces. The benefit, though, is... is is instead of two things you have to carry and somehow integrate into your systems, you got one. It's going to be thinner and slightly lighter in the 915 triage. So I think the weight is a win when you consider its capabilities. And that's what we always do on tabletop here in TMP is I always consider capabilities. And for the 5.2 ounces, you're getting a lot. The steel, N680, similar to N690, which like I've said in some reviews within the last six months, I have learned to like a lot. A fine grained steel that will take an edge, very rust resistant, and it wears pretty good. Adequately tough, that's N690. I don't specifically have a lot of experience with N680 yet, but I'm gonna assume it's very close to that. And having left the N690 out in snowy conditions uh, for overnight at least, with no rust developing at all, I come away impressed with its rust resistance. And I think that's why they chose it at Benchmade, obviously. Especially for the POU on this blade. Rescue blade. Blade shape we already talked about. Sheets foot. Love the belly on that. How's the tip strength on that? Well, let's take a look. No surprise. Thick. So you're not going to get a really precise surgical tip with this this knife. That's really not its role because they want a lot of strength in the blade. They want belly for cutting. You can't get everything with every blade. You're going to make a few compromises along the way. Okay, look at the finish on it. I love the Benchmade finish. Decent, satin finished. The black versions are cool as well. Uh, you know, we've talked about those on camera before. Here's a new thing I'm going to start integrating, by the way, into my tabletop knife reviews. Grind as it comes out of the box. Is it easily resharpened and is the angle something that turns me on? Again, my preferences may be different than yours, but it goes something like this on the 915 triage. And I'll tell you, it's not all peaches and cream with a knife. Okay, it mostly is, but there's a couple criticisms. Here comes one right now, which I think might stand a little bit of improvement. Yes, even Benchmade can improve things once in a while. And that is, as it came out of the box, the 915's edge sucked. What? No way. Benchmade? I know, I was saying the same thing. And along with that, I also uh, have for review Mini Onslaught 946. 
and I'm going to use this knife to illustrate exactly what I'm talking about. First, let's look at the bevel. See how short that bevel is? Very steep. It doesn't always present a problem. There's other knives I reviewed where they're still razor sharp, but they have a very short bevel or relief edge, whatever you want to call it. But this is not normal for a Benchmade. Don't do this at home, kids. Being able to run your thumb on that blade like that rapidly with no damage whatsoever tells you the blade is not sharp out of box. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah. All right, I'm not sure what's going on at Benchmade. You know, we all have our ups and downs quality-wise. I know I do in TMP. We need to improve that, guys. That should not be that way. It should be like Big Brother Onslaught. Still the one of the most awesome blades at Benchmade ever. That's Model 741. Previously reviewed. Love it. Look at that relief edge. It still isn't like really gradual, but this thing is razor sharp. I could not run my thumb the way I just did. Some issues on the 915 triage. Same thing. Had a very stumpy bevel on it and it needed correcting and I did the correcting on it. I sharpened it myself. Squared it away. I think I'm running about a 21 degree angle on it. And I should probably go more shallow than that. Maybe 18 degrees on it. On each side I'm talking. As it is right now, having sharpened it myself, let me see if that will focus. Look at that beautiful edge right there. Oh, it just excites me. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. See how that N680 takes that edge so nice? Let's grab some paper here. We'll just do a little mini paper test. It would be embarrassing if it didn't cut very well. Very happy with the edge as it is now. I think the idea on, on the blade was maybe to have a steeper grind so it's more resistant. I don't know, to wear. You know, we get back into preferences for angles and stuff, but if it's less shallow, I don't know, steeper, it's supposed to wear better. Myself, I don't really concur with that too much. I like a razor sharp blade. It cuts more easily, effortlessly, and that's what I want to see on the 915 coming out of box. So the good news is it's full, not full flat ground, but uh, partially flat ground, and it's easily rectified on a sharpener. I use the Edge Pro Apex. Okay, and it works just most excellently. By the way, it is not hollow ground like this one was, 550HG. Just note the difference there. By the way, speed, awesome. On the 915, and I gotta be real with you guys, I don't lie. I just don't. I, if something's screwed up, I'm going to tell you. Speed is excellent now, but it needed some adjustment. I know. I've, I was perplexed, too. I've just never seen that on a Benchmade model. Okay, as it comes out now, it's great. Let's check, check, uh, check lockup. Listen. Just a slight amount of movement. That's surprising for me as well. You can see the phosphor bronze bushings down there. Uh, adjust from one side, the pivot point, and it needed some adjustment. And I had to tweak it just so. So here's my mini Torx driver, and no, I haven't locked tight it yet, and I just moved it ever so slightly, experimenting. You can only move, adjust it from that side. And what I'm trying to do, again, is to get speed of deployment just right and get that lock up just right. Okay, for me to get the speed perfect, I have a very slight movement in the 915. There you go. Just being honest with you guys. Blade centering is almost perfect, but kind of sided in this particular version. Slightly to one side, and I don't care. As long as it's not rubbing the handle. Um, and honestly, that's the first time I haven't seen a Benchmade perfectly centered. Or perfectly, uh, I don't know, fast out of the box. Just going to throw it out to you. Uh, some guys will say, oh man, I can't believe that. Well, it is what it is. Um, I've seen it in some other models too. 950 Rift, for instance. That needed a little bit of work. I've seen it in all kinds of other manufacturers, so I ain't, I ain't going to say it's that bad of a thing. Lockup and strength. I think the strength with the axis lock is excellent. Love the axis lock. Said it so many times. Simple, easy to operate, durable, ambidextrous. Right out of the gate, man. I think the strength of the blade will be more than adequate for any realistic function you'll put it through. Handle material, huge win for the 915. 
highly textured G10. Look at that. Isn't it cool in that orange? There's a lot of knives out there that wear this international or rescue orange. I know that. I've seen them. Some wear it better than others, and some colors are better than others. And this is one of them. I love the color that Benchmade chose. This is my favorite coloration for the 915. I said that in the booth review. Between the black and the orange, I love the orange. Downside will be as it wears over time, it's going to get grungy looking. It'll show, you know, wear. Uh, you can see some pocket wear on mine already. You can kind of see how the diamond pattern is just slightly worn down. I'll show that to you. I love the traction provided by this excellent choice of G10. Excellent. Just And that gets to the tactical philosophy of use. To lock our hand in to make sure it won't, especially egress forward. I don't know if I want to use that word, but move forward over the cutting surface. Okay, and then, no jimping on the blade. That's kind of a miss. Where did the 550HG go? It had some of that. I'd really like to see that on the 915. Not there. But there is a very short and functional run right here in the handle due to the liners. Maybe Benchmade was watch, uh, my, watching my reviews because this actually does dig into your thumb. Built-in thumb ramp on the handle. So there is some traction there. Great traction by the G10 moderate finger groove on the bottom of the scales okay they are, they are squared in shape I usually cover that that gets to ergonomics how comfortable will the knife be if and when you have to use it for extended cutting tasks okay I love the handles though the downside might be under the clip here just like I've talked with some cold steel versions you're going to shred some pockets and having carried this I will say yeah that's kind of the case it's going to be wear and tear on the pockets under the clip because it's an aggressive G10. Easily fixed, just like TMPers taught me, you can sand under there if you need to. You can fill it with JB Weld if you want to. I don't know if that would look super great on the orange version, the black version, I think it'd look really cool. Reference my modification video on that if you're interested. Love the handle material. Ergonomics. Oh, let me go inside before I go there. Look at this. The milling of those liners. 420 series stainless steel. Look at those big milling holes. Nicely done bench made. 5.2 ounces. If they didn't do this, it would be, I wouldn't say substantially more, but it's going to weigh somewhat more. Then you can see on the right hand side there, they milled those as much as they could without sacrificing any loss of strength whatsoever. That's a 915 triage. Very exciting for me. By the way, there is a little bit of jimping on the back side here. That's to give you some purchase, I guess, when you use. Might as well cover it now. The carbide glass breaker. How cool is that? Which is replaceable if you have to. Now, there's some other knives out there that have carbide glass breakers on them. I know some are, you know, recessed or they retract within the handle. In carrying this, I really didn't see an issue with that protruding. Um, and for this review, I was going to like demanufacture a car with this knife. Like cut the seat belts, bust the windows out, cut the seats up. I Seriously, I was going to do it. I was like, man, that would just be a cool bit video. Uh, one, I had, a tr had trouble finding the right car. Doesn't seem like many people want me to do that with my knife on their car. I know, it's crazy. And then I just want to get the video out. So here it is. Uh, I can guarantee you that carbide window breaker will work just fine. Okay. Ergonomics. First off, let's talk about how you would employ that. I would do it just like so, wrapping my thumb around there as the knife is held in reverse, just like so. Slamming. You'll be amazed how quickly that pops the window out. By the way, in regular grip, work something like that. I already talked about the jimping, and then the reverse grip, if you ever had to, would work well, as, as we've talked about. And then in the closed position, uh, gosh, can you imagine getting smacked with that carbide tool? in the thigh. Ouch. Talking non-lethal impact kind of stuff that we've discussed before. Ergonomics, huge win. Love it. Clip design, another big win for the 915 triage. Loop over style clip. Man, that's good to see. That means this thing carries deep and you just have this small portion right here sticking out of the pocket. It is reversible from left to right. So lefties, you will love this knife. Love it. Great clip. Black oxide coated stainless steel variety, strong, well attached, 
I had no issues with, with it at all. Love the clip. How about that rescue cutter? Let's look at it now. A couple of ways to deploy it. You know, you could get tricky and kind of swap your grip, do a fast pop out like that, or as I recommend, just bring it out surely. Just like that. Let's compare it against the Rescue 5. Where'd it go? There it is. If you have never had the pleasure of using the Rescue Cutters by Benchmade, you need to do so. Either have your friend, you know, borrow your friends or just buy one and you will be amazed at how these suckers cut. Here's the beauty of the 915. Look how it pretty much mimics the Rescue 5 in its size and capabilities. Okay, remember, this is a dedicated paramedic style rescue cutter. Granted, it's the small handle version. The Rescue 7 and the other versions are larger, they're more ergonomic, easier to grasp and get leverage on. But I will tell you, they don't have anything over this smaller one in cutting performance. Let's get some cordage here, we'll see how it does. 550 cord rescue cutter. And this is kind of a joke because it just slices through this stuff so easy. So easy. I mean, it just pops it. 440C, uh, I wouldn't say razor sharp, but for rescue cutting, it's excellent. Here comes some thicker cord. How's it do on this? This, is, this would be a challenge, wouldn't you think? Not so much. And I think this cord right here represents the upper side of what I would expect a small rescue cutter to do. Now, by the way, this is not the only style of knife like this. I started looking around to see if I could find one, and lo and behold, I found a very inexpensive one from Boker. Benchmade guys are probably going to laugh when I bring this out. Here it is. Little Boker rescue knife. This thing costs like next to nothing, and honestly, as far as capabilities, it does not even compare to the 915. Look at its silly little, first off, I think that's hilarious. They have like a little can opener and a rescue cutter. That's such an odd combination. Look at its rescue cutter. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. Let's see if it cuts, so. All right. Kind of. You put enough thrust behind it. And I'm not trying to make that more dramatic than it is. Um, there might be some other ones out there. I'm just showing you just by way of, I don't know, comparison and contrast. 915 rescue cutting is amazing. Can't pop that out fast every time. Durability. I think for what it is, I think it'll last a long time. The 915 triage. As long as you don't abuse it, I think the steel's good. Very rust resistant. The 440C clip, not so much. Okay, the handles, will they wear over time that more aggressive G10? I don't know. You know, time will tell. Uh, axis lock, I wouldn't worry about that at all. And by the way, no volcano issues on the thumb studs and no occlusion from the handle. In other words, accessibility. You can see that it's easily deployed. You can actually shake this knife out too. Just like that, if you want to. Value. Benchmades are expensive. Look in the upper right, that's where I recommend buying your Benchmades and the 915 Triage. Expect, if you find a good deal, around a buck forty. That is $140. Benchmades, again, a little bit pricey. That's just the way it is, but the quality levels are pretty tight. And again, you're getting basically two items in one. You're getting that Griptilian. Actually, it's better than a Griptilian because a Griptilian uses that Zytel handle. This is G10. Highly upgraded. Oh, and by the way, look how thin that is. Mm -hmm. It carries so nicely in the pocket. Very thin, the 915. And then again, you're getting that rescue cutting function. So $140. Maybe less if you look around, but I think that's a fairly good price. Big score, I would say. Cool factor. Off the charts, baby. Which color do you like best? Orange. Just like I said, if you're a soldier, sheepdog, you want to clip it to your LBE, your duty pocket, definitely go with the black. Police officers, uh, heck, I don't know, orange might be a good color. Easily found, if you drop it in foliage, easily found as well, retrieved. Uh, cool factor though, just because it's a bench mate, the quality levels are pretty smoking. As I've tried to show in this tabletop review, that makes it cool. Okay, but I think its real calling is as, uh, like I said, a sheepdog knife. Saving lives, possibly, with that. Maybe that. You know? And then your all around utility knife blade there, food preparation, utility tasks, heaven forbid, tactical uses. Capable, though. 
couple minor misses. The grind grind needs to be taken care of. I would make it shallower, razor sharp out of box. Work on that lockup to be, you know, like all Benchmades are. Really, really tight, needing no adjustment whatsoever. Still solid fast. I think those points are minor though. Overall, the 915 still has all the makings of a Hall of Fame blade here in the Nut and Fancy Project. That's my review. See ya.